Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Hey guys, we're your hosts, M and J, and today we wanted to talk about Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Snow White is next in line for a live action reboot, and they've already announced the actress for Snow White, Rachel Ziegler. We aren't really fans of these live action remakes, as evident by our channel. Either they're copies of the original with all the charm sucked out of them, or they're so different they might as well have made an original property, but it's causing them to take less creative risks, since these are usually a safe investment. Although they might not be as safe as Disney likes to believe they are. Mulan faced a lot of backlash, both in domestic and foreign markets, because they filmed it in a province that had a concentration camp in it, and thank the CCP who happened to be the ones who put the concentration camp there, only for the movie to not do well in China. And Cruella was beat out at the box office by A Quiet Place 2. It also reportedly made $184 million worldwide, but the estimated cost to make the movie was $200 million, and that's not including the advertisement budget. Despite that, they've greenlit a sequel, but these live-action reboots and remakes might not be the cash cow Disney's expecting them to be, but they still have a bunch of them in the works, including Lilo and Stitch, which came out in 2002 and sounds like a terrible idea, in my opinion. My point is Disney is still going full steam ahead, and Snow White is getting its turn. Snow White is a very important movie because it was the first animated feature, which paved the way not only for the Disney animated movies, but animated movies in general, since it had never been done before, and people at the time weren't sure about a full-length animated feature, but Walt Disney proved that it can be done and be successful, and the film really resonated with audiences at the time. I really don't think Snow White needs a live-action remake. It'll most likely end up like one of those remakes that sucks all the fun and charm out of the original animated version. It's also really impressive that this animation is like 90 years old and it still holds up so well. A lot of these scenes just wouldn't be as fun in live-action, like the scene where the dwarves sing hi ho after a long day of work in the gem mines, I really don't think this scene would be as memorable in live action. Some things just work better in animation, unless they do the Mulan thing and just cut all the songs, which would be a mistake because the songs were a lot of fun in this movie, just like they were in Mulan. I know that they could always just do something different, but if that's the case, what's the point of remaking Snow White when they could just do an original story? Because they think name recognition alone will get butts and seats. I'm also concerned they're gonna end up sanitizing Snow White, because there are some pretty dark moments in this movie, like the scene where the evil queen transforms herself into an old woman, then as she's leaving to go kill Snow White she spots a skeleton, and then makes fun of the poor soul before kicking it. The modern live-action retellings of these stories have a tendency to tone down or remove the darker elements. Like in the animated Sleeping Beauty, Maleficent clearly states that Aurora will die when she pricks her finger. Before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. It's only the good fairy who is able to change the curse from death to just sleeping, but in the live-action Maleficent she just says that she'll fall asleep, because Maleficent has been sanitized and now she's more of a victim than an evil fairy. It's still pretty messed up to curse a baby, even if her father did something terrible to you, but you know, it has to somewhat resemble Sleeping Beauty, or else they can't market it as a Sleeping Beauty movie. That's why they had to have that ridiculous connection to Dalmatians in Cruella. Other Otherwise, it wouldn't be connected to 101 Dalmatians, and they wouldn't be able to get that name recognition. Weird how these live-action remakes tend to sanitize the villains, but then make villains out of the heroes or the side characters of the original movies, or make a new bad guy to make the original bad guy look less bad. I actually think if Disney really wanted to do something with Snow White, maybe they could consider an extended version with some new scenes added. I'm not sure if this is a controversial take, but the movie's only 83 minutes long, and I think that there's some room in the story to add a couple new scenes. Like one of the most controversial things about this movie is the ending, where the prince kisses the unconscious Snow White. They have a cute scene in the movie where they sing together. I don't think it would hurt to add a few more scenes of the two of them together, and maybe even have them become a couple. So then at the end they have this scene where he kisses her, and maybe it's a little less awkward. Personally I always saw this scene as him just saying goodbye but it's understandable why people find it uncomfortable. Technically
technically at this point they aren't a couple, even if they sang a cute song together. And also he thinks she's dead. But if they're a couple at this point, it would probably be less weird. Except for maybe the dead part. But I also think that maybe they could add a scene with Snow White and the Evil Queen. Snow White is a princess, but she wears rags all the time and does chores around the castle, which isn't something that princesses are known for. But it's because the queen hates her and is trying to hide her beauty, both inside and out. But we never get to see their relationship outside of the queen giving her death glares. Cinderella got a whole scene with her family where she was forced to be their servant in her own house. And I think something like that would really benefit this movie, since it would flesh out the characters' relationships a bit more. Rachel Ziegler has made some statements about her casting, since she's been cast as Snow White while being a person of color. I'm all for diversity, but I don't see why Disney doesn't just make a movie that features a Latina princess, which they haven't done yet. There was Elena of Avalor, but that was a cartoon instead of a movie, and apparently she doesn't get to count towards the Disney princess roster, or get to appear in other material like Wreck-It Ralph 2 or Kingdom Hearts. There's also the fact that her performance in this film, no matter how good it is, isn't actually going to have an effect on Disney as a whole. If Disney used this version of Snow White for merch, then they'd have to give Ziegler royalties for using her likeness, which isn't something they've been willing to do in the past. That's why you don't see Giselle from Enchanted on store shelves. To do that, they would have to pay royalties to Amy Adams. There will surely be some collectibles for the movie, but after that, they'll just go back to the animated design. So they're doing all this marketing, but it ultimately comes off more as pandering because they think this will be enough to satiate those who want diversity, but then they'll just go back to the original design once they move on to their next property. Disney actually has a lot of opportunities to add diversity that they just don't take. Of course, they could always make a new movie, but they also don't take opportunities that seem pretty obvious, where they could easily add diversity and it would make a lot of sense. Like with Frozen 2, they had the idea to make other elemental beings, and the obvious choice would be to make them all princesses from around the world, but instead they decided to make a character who is literally wind. And they even made a toy that's just a hunk of clear plastic with a few leaves. What kid wants to play with that? They missed out on a lot of merchandise that they could have sold of four new diverse Disney princess dolls. Plus, I feel like Frozen 2 could have been the start of a Frozen cinematic universe where each of these new princesses could have had their own movie. But no, go with the clear plastic idea. Brilliant. In the end, it was Disney's willingness to take risks and innovation that got us the first animated feature film to begin with, and it ended up changing the film industry. But now it feels kind of like Disney is putting all their eggs into one basket, even though their live action movies have been underperforming in some areas, but they're still charging forward full steam ahead. If I'm being totally honest, I wish they would just go back to adapting fairy tales instead of them giving us subpar remakes of their old movies. But that's just our opinion. What do you guys think? Are you excited for this new Snow White remake? Or do you think it's another cash grab? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. We really appreciate it. Before we go, we'd like to give a shout out to our members. Caleb Nelson, Stutania, Tyrant Carnivore, Adam K, Shiny Orc Boy, The Rabbit Mancer, Dash Hound, Hunter Rose, General Boulevard, Depth Charge Media, Samru163, Kopitio Bozinski, Gabby Hime, Sandy Martin, Verdant Range, and Butcher7 Actual. Thank you all so much for your support. If you'd like to become a member, you can hit the join button next to the subscribe button. We also have Buy Me Coffee if you want to support us that way. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content from us, you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye everybody. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.